For the past six months, I've been making YouTube videos about Hollywood, the state of the film industry, and the future of media. In three months, I'm moving to Los Angeles to pursue a career in the film industry. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you why I'm choosing to make YouTube videos, what the future holds for the film industry, and why I'm so, so excited about the future of the creator economy. For one, I think YouTube is the future of media. TikTok, television, movies, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitch. There are many avenues these days to put yourself out there. But YouTube is not a different league to all of them. It's the largest streaming platform in the world, and it's also the largest collection of video or really media ever assembled. Plus, the platform is incredibly profitable. From 2020 to 2023, YouTube paid out $70 billion to its creators, and that only tracks pure AdSense. It doesn't include the billions of dollars of brand deals or products and services that YouTubers are now starting to sell. Simply put, there's a lot of money in YouTube and pretty soon there's gonna be a lot more. Goldman Sachs, which is one of the world's leading investment banks, estimates that the creator economy, which is currently valued at about $250 billion, will grow to 480 billion by 2027. That means that in three years, the economic power of the creator economy will double. So that's why I'm so bullish about YouTube. But then why am I also trying to develop a career in Hollywood and the traditional film industry? I mean, the world is changing and so is the media we consume. Television shows and movies, which used to make up the largest share of our media consumption, are now competing with YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, video games, and any other kind of attention-grabbing media. Plus, Hollywood is struggling right now. Historic companies like Paramount are on the verge of bankruptcy. The strike brought production to a halt last year, and even afterwards, the amount of films and TV shows being made has dropped dramatically. It's also an industry that historically has not been the greatest to work in. Wages are low for most entry and mid-level roles, especially compared to the cost of living in Los Angeles, because there are so many people that move to LA to work in the film industry that the labor force is easily replaceable. It's really just the top 1% of Hollywood, the bankable stars and the executives who have relationships with bankable stars that make the bulk of the profits in the industry. So why would I want to start my career there? Well, it's because I still love movies and I still love TV shows. And I think Hollywood can be modernized for our digital era. I see a world where Hollywood isn't competing with YouTube, but where there is this harmonious relationship between the two. And I think we're already starting to see the barrier between Hollywood and the creator economy is starting to come down. So the biggest YouTuber on the planet is now partnering with Amazon's Prime Video Service to make the biggest game show of all time. Creators with large followings are now being represented by Hollywood talent agencies. UTA represents Emma Chamberlain and Samir from Colin and Samir, for example. And recently, Wesley Wong, whose short film went viral on YouTube, is now partnering with Darren Aronofsky's production company, and he could be the youngest director of a Hollywood feature film ever. Plus, I don't think movies are actually going away. I'm working on a huge video that really breaks down the future of movies in much more detail. So if you aren't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it when it comes out next week. But just to touch on it briefly, Sony recently bought the movie theater chain Alamo Drafthouse, which is associated with people who really love cinema and are willing to pay a little bit more for a more premium experience. And Netflix is experimenting with in-person destinations to watch movies and shows, to buy merchandise, and to just hang out with other film lovers. So I don't think movie theaters are completely dead, they're just going to need to adjust to changes in consumer behavior. So that's why I'm still confident in the future of Hollywood, but it doesn't really explain why I'm making these videos. I mean, they're fun, but they're also a ton of work. When I started making these videos, it was really just because of a feeling. I felt compelled to do it. But as I've experimented over the past six months, I've been thinking a lot about why I keep on putting out videos. And honestly, I think I found the answer. Ever since I was little, I really loved making things. 
Getting a small Lego set for Christmas was one of my very earliest memories. And a big part of my early childhood, I spent taking apart and rebuilding different Lego creations. I even made some YouTube videos on them when I was 11. Then when I got older, I started making RC planes. Eventually in college, making films turned into a true passion of mine. I spent most of my senior year on set and working with other people to put together short films. So that's one part of it. Because I'm pursuing a career in Hollywood that's more on the business side of the industry. Because I want to be an agent and I want to represent YouTubers. But I'm still a filmmaker at heart. And I found that making YouTube videos is such a fun creative outlet. And I think it can be something that fulfills you too. That's why I made an entire operating system for your YouTube channel. Workflows that take you through research, thumbnail and title design, scripting, filming and editing. A complete thumbnail database that tracks any thumbnail and title combination you find appealing. And I'm giving it away completely for free, including my newsletter, Liminal Media, that covers the creator economy in Hollywood. You can check it out in the first link of the description if you want it. And if you use it, please give me some feedback. I'm constantly working on it and updating the system to make it more comprehensive and more useful. So that's my story. Thank you so much for listening and for being subscribed. I didn't really get the chance though to fully dive into the current state of film and the future of the creator economy. For that, you can check out some of my other videos, including the one you can click on right here. That's it for now though, peace.